Hey, I'm here with 1983 Skunk Works Robotics. This is Cameron and that's MJ. And uh, uh, so Cameron, tell us what's going on in Skunk Works. Yeah, uh, so we, we've, our robot is a lot more complex than last year. So I think that's one of my favorite things about this, this year's robot. We, last year we had like seven motors, this year we have 18. Uh, yeah, we've also switched to Swerve Drive. Uh, we that's this is our first year swerve, so that's been a challenge for our programmers. Uh, yeah. Speaking of programming, one of the one of the other really th cool things about our robot is that we've got some really good visual odometry. We use cameras to math pa paths around the field, and so. We use this for auto-aiming, and the real cool thing about our auto-aiming is that instead of using theoretical math to figure out what angle to aim our shooter at to get in, in the speaker, we plotted a bunch of points, and then one of our programmers made a sort of visual map of where, of where on the field what angle you need to be at to get it into the speaker, extrapolating from the data points we got at different points on the field. Okay, so you're doing you're doing some uh, some good planning, some good data collection, and then and then uh, able to interpret that on the fly. That's pretty cool. So, uh, uh, anything else about the team that you're impressed with this year? We've actually gotten way better at outreach this year. Uh, last year, uh, well, in 2022, we were a really small team, so we couldn't do a, a lot of it. And so this past year, we've been able to do uh, Vex robotics workshops with kids uh, in elementary school. We've been able to go to two parades, and we attended a car show. And we've had, just in this build season alone, we've had teams visit our full-size practice field more than 60 times. Wow, wow, that's awesome, that's awesome. Well, it sounds like you guys are having a really great year, and congratulations yeah. on your success. Thank you. Thanks for talking with us.